When we hear the word invention, we usually think of the big stuff. You know, scientists and engineers, visionaries and problem solvers, thinking outside the box, brilliant minds like Leonardo da Vinci, Benjamin Franklin, Archimedes, or Nikola Tesla. Their inventions open up a world of life-changing possibilities. And well before these inventors even existed, humans have been making a whole bunch of stuff and discovering things. Roughly about 2.6 million years ago, ancient man invented the first tools made from stone. It's believed that the first wheel came about in 3500 BC. In 3000 BC, ancient Egyptians invented papyrus, allowing us to share ideas and stories and record our own history. 2000 years ago, the Romans even learned how to shape metal. From that came a small but mighty invention, the nail. And one of the greatest inventions happened in China back in 589 AD toilet paper. Since then, we've built things that go fast. Like the Wright brothers built the airplane in 1903 because we wanted to pretend to be birds. And if that wasn't enough, we wanted to be fast like horses, so Henry Ford decided to make the Ford Model T in 1908. But what about those small day-to-day -day inventions that we don't really even think about? Like the light bulb, the doorknob, the toilet. Or what about the internet? Which, by the way, I've made videos on these inventions before, so if you want to nerd out a little bit more, make sure to check out this history playlist right here. It's kind of hard to picture a world without the internet. I mean, how would that even look like? But what about the lesser known inventions? Those things buried in history that when you look at them now, make you wonder what the hell could have they possibly been thinking by making this? At the time, I'm pretty sure these inventors thought they were changing the world. So back in 1882, when mice infestations became too extreme, James A. Williams of Texas invented the mousetrap pistol. I guess that's one way to do it, but the idea never really took off since no one wanted a loaded pistol on their kitchen floor. Thankfully, in 1894, William Hooker invented the spring-loaded version that we still use today. Oh, by the way, do you need a shave? Because in the 19th century, the shaving machine let you sit down with a bunch of others to have your face shaved. The machine was marketed as a way for barbers to shave multiple customers at a time easily and safely. But this man's face tells another story. Now, some of my favorite weird inventions are the ones that get you from point A to point B in the most unnecessary way possible. In the early 1930s, you could take a ride at speeds up to 30 miles per hour in a giant wheel the Dinosphere. It was inspired from a sketch by Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci? It may look cool, but you weren't actually able to steer. And if you hit the brakes too hard, your ass went flying out. But ground transportation is just one way that people have wanted to move. For example, some people have always wanted to fly. So Archytas of Tarentum designed the first of these wooden birds in 400 BC, which da Vinci put his own spin on it on late 15th century, calling it the Ornithopter. This version from 1963 makes you look like a giant dumbass bird. Now this one I'd actually like to try. In 1936, an all-terrain vehicle from England called the Saurer M2 Octopus was like a giant insect. You could cruise down slopes up to 65 degrees. This really makes the kid in me happy. But it's not just transportation. Inventions have touched every part of our lives, including fashion. And that's when it gets way ridiculous, more than it already is, trust me. Have you ever thought, you know, I want to improve my swimming experience? Well, you can in one of these wooden swimsuits from 1929. Or keep this chill off with the plastic snow protector from Montreal, which was made in 1939. Now, many inventions were just about making everyday chores more efficient. Throw your clothes in the folding mate and have them come out neatly folded. Or what about the baby mop from 2012? Making your baby useful for once? Speaking of babies, inventions for kids are just as strange. Take a look at this radio stroller from 1921. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Just blast your baby in the face with the radio turned all the way up. Genius. And just in case you were get tired of pushing a stroller, this Pramobile from the 1920s lets you cruise at 15 miles an hour. And it's no surprise that babies can kind of get fussy sometimes. So why don't you try a pair of beating breasts? And no, these aren't breasts that you beat your baby with. Invented in Japan in 1963, they simulate a mom's heartbeat. But nothing tops what's been dubbed one of the worst inventions of all time, the urban window baby cage from the 1930s. It was thought that allowing plenty of fresh air was good for babies, but that logic came into serious question when your kid was dangling several stories above the street. 
All right, enough baby talk. What about things that make you enjoy life more? Here are some that make you enjoy your vices just a little bit more than you already do. This flask tie allows you to get plastered no matter where you are. Let's say the local PTA meeting is getting a little bit boring, just take a little sip. And why just smoke one cigarette when you can smoke an entire pack at the same time? Literally, anyone with an idea, no matter how stupid, can become an inventor. It goes to show that human creativity has no boundaries. And if we're gonna find a way to waste time by making unnecessary shit, that we actually will do that. In any case, consider subscribing if you like this video and make sure to share it with somebody who just wants to waste time. See you soon, love you like a headache.